Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. Today I have got a brand new pattern release from the very popular Australian pattern company called Pattern Emporium. I'm gonna let you know all about what I've made. I've got Meg inside here today. She's decided to join me on the couch because it's actually terrible outside. It is bucketing rain, it is windy, horrendous weather. So I thought I need to bring you inside to really talk to you about this pattern because you're going to, yeah, you're going to get too much interruption with that weather. So I'm here to tell you all about a fantastic pattern company that I have um, made quite a few patterns from in the past. It's an Aussie company called Pattern Emporium. Pattern Emporium is a fantastic pattern company because of the amount of variations you can make to their patterns. Um, if you know, if you're familiar with Pattern Emporium, if you've ever um, bought one of their patterns before, you'll know that they are PDF patterns only. Um, but they do give you so many different uh, options for patterns. So usually when you buy one pattern, you'll get at least four or five, maybe even six different variations you can make, which is fantastic value for money. I've made these brilliant Pattern Emporium Palazzo pants. So you can see here, they are made from knit fabric. They're going to be either four-way or two-way stretch. You can do quite a few different options. I'll show you some pics of what I've done with mine. The first pair I've made is in a Plisse uh, Velour stretch jersey that was purchased from Spotlight probably a good year ago now. And it's beautiful drapey fabric. Now the best thing about these pants is they do give a lot of volume and drapey. You've got two different versions for the width of the leg. So if you want the super wide leg, you can go for that. If you want the more subtle leg, you can go for that. Now I've made both of my pairs in the subtle leg. So they're still very wide, but not as dramatic as, as a dramatically wide leg. Um, now they've got a beautiful flare from the hip down. So they give you that gorgeous A-line shape. And you can either do full length, which is what I've made in the um, velour Plisse, uh, which is the floral print. I've made the full length in that, which is a regular length because I do give you options for short or for tall. So I'm a regular length person usually. So the regular length is basically just hits on the shoe. If you've got a heel, that is. Uh, if you're wearing a flat, you might find that they sit right on the, on the ground. But that gives you that beautiful, dramatic uh, look to the pant. The other variation I've made is in the three-quarter length. Now, the calotte length is even shorter than that. The three-quarter length is that fantastic sort of almost ankle crop length that looks beautiful with like things like ballet flats or trainer shoes as well. So you can kind of make them a little bit more casual. You can put either like a flat sandal or a little heel with those as well. So not quite as dramatic as the full length, but really great for wearing for every day. I styled those navy ones that I've made in with a little striped top and denim jacket. I think it looks fantastic. Now they're in a double brush poly in the navy. The fantastic thing about these pants is you can make them either in a high waist, which is what I've gone for, or the lower waist. You can also give them um, features like a beautiful curved jean style pocket. Um, there's two different style pockets. Um, I've gone without the pockets because that's what I prefer for myself, but I think they look fantastic made with the curved pockets as well. Also got the option to be made with a beautiful feature waist with a little diagonal insert as well. So it really gives you that beautiful defined looking waist and you've got that lovely thick waistband that I've made with the non-roll elastic and I just think that they look really stylish and perfect for a lot of different occasions. So a really easy style to dress up or down. And it really depends on what you pop with the garment to give it that look. Now, I think that dramatic style leg with a, especially a pattern style fabric looks fantastic with a basic, uh, either like a plain top, like a fitted top, or just something a little uh, like a boxy style as well. You can see the way it's been styled here. They've gone for a lot of crop style options and also the high neck I think looks fantastic with a fitted garment. But also it looks good if you do a, um, two different prints. I think um, that the uh, way that they've got the tucked in front bit, that looks fantastic as well. Um, now the good thing about the Palazzo pants at the moment, if you order 
I think it's till Sunday night. That's Australian Eastern Standard Time. You do get 15% off. So it's fantastic to take advantage of the sale. Um, they're really well priced uh, patterns as well. They're great price patterns because of the variations that you do get. You do really get your money's worth out of that as well. So it's a brilliant style pattern to be able to mix and match through your wardrobe. Now I'm going to link the video that Kate, uh, the owner of Pattern Emporium, she's actually done a video showing you all the different styles that she's made, the different pocket variations and different fabrics that she's done with them as well. And it really does you, give you a bit of a lookbook uh, if you want to really uh, narrow down the style that you're after. But it's also the sort of thing that you might want to go back and make more pairs and sort of play with them each time you make them. It's great to give um, a different fabrics a different look. And she does give you a run through of all the fabrics that you can make them out of. So there's so many, but I think my favorite would be, um, I think Kate even agreed with that, would be like the Liverpool or even a stretch crepe. So anything to do with a knit or jersey fabric, perfect. Um, as I say, I've made the Velour Crinkle um, Plissé or I've made the Double Brush Poly, but things like your rayon jerseys would be perfect. Um, yeah, I'd use probably more of a drapey fabric I think would work best but she has also given the option to things like scuba as well which I think or even ponty which will look perfect as well. The pattern emporium patterns do come from sizes 6 to size 24 so there are quite a few fantastic patterns I think I've made in past I've made the spellbound dress I've got the going places dress as well that I've made um, from there I think it was in the Christmas video that I made in a, a beautiful velvet and also the um, Hello Gorgeous top is another fantastic pattern that I've um, yet to make, but I've got on the cards to make as well. I'm actually an affiliate for Pattern Emporium Pattern, so I have got a little affiliate link linked underneath uh, in this description box. If you're wanting to order, don't forget you've got until Sunday night Australian Eastern Standard Time to pick up that pattern. Um, now, remember you guys over in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going to have to look at that because we are, I think, a good few hours uh, ahead of you guys. So if you want to pick up that pattern, make sure you look at the time difference because it's well worth getting a 15 percent discount and another fantastic thing to take advantage of is the fact that they have also listed the tops that Kate has worn in her promo video for the pants all of the tops that are featured have got 15 percent off as well so I think if you look on their home page on their website you will see that the uh, listed tops there that she's mixed and matched back with the pants um, can be purchased for 15 percent off as well at this time these are a really easy make and perfect for a beginner as well because of course you don't always need an overlocker or serger to make these you can do them with a zigzag which is brilliant or even just a twin stitched needle um, or a stretch stitch on your regular sewing machine you must remember to pick a knit fabric so you're wanting something with either a two or a four-way stretch and I think the drapier style fabrics really do work wonders with this pattern. I decided to make the size 14 because it's got a nice elastic waist. So I knew that that, um, that would fit would be perfect on me. And it was spot on perfect. I didn't make any alterations at all to the pattern. The, as I said, the first pair I made was the regular in the full length. The second pair I made in the three quarter long length. You can really play around with the lengths and variations you want to make with this pattern. Uh, I know Kate has actually also made it in a lot of swimwear fabrics as well, which is perfect for summertime. And, all, also, and it almost gives it that sportswear look as well, which you can pop a little pair of trainers on, um, but you still look really put together. So I think that'd be a great option for summer. Um, to make a pair of collot style ones in a swimwear fabric. I think it will look perfect. There are so many testers that have made this pattern and I'll just give you a little run through, look at the website as well. And you can see all the different variations the testers have made. I think there's so many different body shapes as well there. And it really gives you a great look into a pattern when you when you sort of get that inside you can see how a pattern's going to look on a similar body type to yours as well um, i really like the look of that i think the testers um, have really gone through this pattern and honed in on what looks great and she's picked out a lot of photos there for you to see now if you haven't worked with pattern emporium patterns before you will see that the pdf run through is just fantastic as far as instructions wise goes you can see she's taken you through every single step of the construction of this um, another thing to remember is because you get all the different variations with each pattern um, and you might not want to print out every single variation, you can then look at your little uh, table at the, I think it's on the second or third page, it'll say, okay, if you want to make the full length without pockets in a high waist, it will tell you exactly what page numbers to print out. So you might just want to write down that and then you can just go to your printer when you um, go to print, especially on Adobe Acrobat printing, that's the way to do it. You can scale down to the layering for the size you want 
and for all the options you want to put in the garment and it'll tell you exactly what pages to print out. So that really saves a lot of time if you don't want to be putting together um, every single pattern that comes in that variation. It really helps a lot. That's one thing I found to be fantastic with their patterns. Take you through all the different fabrics that work best with this pattern as well. So that really helps if you're ordering the fabric online. And also each style of pattern, so if you want to go for full length, high waist, it'll show you how much fabric you'll need for that um, particular pattern. So the one thing to remember with this is you do need a nice wide width fabric. And I think I used about 2.5, I think it was 2.5 meters for the first long pair. The second pair was just on 2.2 meters and they both are wide width. So you want to make sure you've got the wide width fabric to fit that lovely wide leg in. It's as simple as putting your front and back legs together um, and then it um, sewing through the crotch line and adding a waistline on it. it's that simple so if you're wanting to do the pair without the pockets you'll find that you can make them up very easily within a couple of hours at the most with my velour plissé fabric I actually opted for not doing a hem at all now with that kind of fabric you don't really need to do a hem but you must make sure you cut it really straight um, with the poly double brush poly I actually did a little uh, zigzag or a twin stitch hem you can do either one of those so it's the great option of having a knit fabric. You don't always need to do that hem. It just depends on the fabric itself and how it looks when it's hanging. Sometimes you can get away with that because of course a lot of knit fabric won't fray at all. So it's a really great time saver. And it also lets that fabric drape really nicely as well. This is a style of pattern. I would love to have a beautiful stretch crepe black fabric because that basic black collot I think works wonders in the wardrobe which is a staple for either for winter or for summer and it's that nice weight that you can wear for either time of year as well at the moment my fabric stash of course there's not a lot that I could use as far as plain fabrics go because of course the stores are still closed here I've got a big hold up on a lot of our postage items coming so I didn't have a lot to play with as far as fabrics go but I used what was in my stash um, but there are things that I'm already thinking on um, the certain websites that I know I'll be looking at to order fabric, especially in the knit fabric for these pants, because I know they're going to be a beautiful staple to have to play with for summer, especially here. Don't forget, if you're wanting these for autumn, winter, you can quite easily layer these as well. There's a sort of thing that you can wear even tights underneath, but you can also wear a lovely little knit, knitted sweater. Now, I know that Kate has actually... Um, showing the unwind sweater. That's another fantastic little sweater pattern that's a really easy make that you could, it's a cropped enough that you've got the different variations with the crop or with a long that you could pair back with these pants, I think would work wonderfully. But I'm actually looking at making a few more of their patterns for the upcoming episodes I've got in the next couple of months. I think they're a great pattern company to give you so many variations and really get to play with and what works best for your wardrobe as well. So Palazzo for me just conjures up those thoughts of relaxed and tropical but also something you can really dress up quite chic and classy so a little cropped blazer jacket would work perfectly if you're in a colder climate as well um, but yeah for summer for me I think little tank tops um, and little cropped uh, short sleeve tops are going to work perfectly for this and I think this is the sort of thing if you have a basic color that you could make a little tank top and it's the sort of thing you can wear a gorgeous um, kimono style jacket. And then they have got a lot of patterns. I think there's the songbird as well that she'll take you through a rundown of what she styles back with it. But it gives you that beautiful relaxed vibe if you have that layering effect over a lovely drapey pair of collots. Yeah, what's not to love about Palazzo pants? They're comfortable being a knit fabric. They're, they're going to wear really well. Um, they're the sort of thing that you can pop on just for every day for running around and also dressing up for at night time gives you that lovely classy look. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I hope it's given you a little bit more of an insight into a different style pants because a lot of people are loving the collots. Um, it's a really, uh, it's a style that's come in and out through, through history. You know, if you like me and you remember through back through the eighties and nineties as well, they really were quite popular and we had a lot of the really wide leg, um, style as well. So nice when you see this sort of style coming back in and being popular again, because they're comfortable, but they're also great looking pants. You can get really bold, fun and creative with the prints you use as well. So don't be scared of using pattern and print because I think that you can easily tone it down by what you're wearing on the top half of your body if you wanted to go really loud and bright with your bottom half. Jump over to Pattern Emporium. I'm sure you'll be really excited when you see all the different patterns and variations they've got there. Don't forget you can still get 15% off these till Sunday night uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time and also all the tops that are listed 
in that video that she's listed there for 15% off as well. So why not take advantage um, to jump online and grab some bargains for yourself? I've got an episode coming out next that's going to show you all the fabric stores that I love shopping online here in Australia. And a lot of those stores do uh, specialize in knit fabrics as well. So if you're loving the look of these pants and you're not sure where to go to buy the fabric to, to go with this, I'm going to have a lot of those stores listed for you to see exactly where I go to buy all my knit fabrics. And I think it really helps when you know good quality fabrics that you can purchase and fantastic service as well. So that's coming up next. So thanks for watching today. Don't forget that little link below for the pattern if you're interested in the palazzo pants. I'm sure you're going to love them just like I have. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up if you've uh, liked what you've seen. Don't forget if you haven't already subscribed, you can always go ahead and click that little subscribe button and that will help my channel a lot. We'll see you very soon for the newest episode. Bye for now.